So we're given that we have this rectangular portrait with a length of 14 centimeters and a width of 9 centimeters. Uh, we want to build a frame around the portrait that has the same area as the portrait itself and then know the new length and width of the portrait with the frame included. I think it helps if we draw ourselves a sketch of what's happening here. So we have this portrait that is 14 centimeters by 9 centimeters means it has an area of 126 square centimeters. And then we're going to build this frame around the portrait, which really it would be the same distance from the portrait all the way around. And this um, orange red part, whatever color this is, um, should also have an area of 126 square centimeters. <coughs> um, so the variable in this problem is, what's hardest about this problem is it's hard to see what the variable is. And what we're solving for is we want to know what's this extra amount that we're adding to each side. So we're adding the same amount on both sides, whether it's horizontally or vertically. But that's what we're trying to solve for. So our original portrait has an area of 9, 9 times 14, which is 126. But our new portrait, with the frame included, has an area of, well, we don't know what the extra amount is. So 9 plus x. times 14 plus x is equal to 252. So in this problem, x is the um, amount added to the length and width. So once we've set the problem up, it's not that bad to solve. You know, multiply both. We have to expand it because it's a quadratic equation. So we need to, we need to expand this, this uh, thing on the left and then set it equal to 0. So use FOIL to multiply the two binomials. And we'll get. 126 plus 9x plus 14x plus x squared equals 252. And then of course, like I said, it's quadratic, so we want to subtract 252 from both sides so that the equation is equal to zero. And of course, combine the like terms on the left. And I'm going to reorder the terms. So x squared plus 14 plus 9 is 23. And then minus 126 is equal to zero. Um, so we could try to solve this by factoring. Um, 126 has a lot of factors, and I don't want to list all of them out. So this is an example of a time where it's probably easier to just use the quadratic formula. Um, so we're going to have x equals negative 23 plus or minus the square root of 23 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 126 all divided by 2 times 1. And then simplifying the part inside the radical sign we get So 
So this is a actually a pretty common mistake I see when using the quadratic formula. If you have a negative here, but then you also have a negative 4, then what you end up with is these both become positive. Now, if you had a third negative, then they'd be negative again. Um, so really, it's just 20, it's going to be 23 squared and then plus 4 times 126, which is 1,033. all divided by 2. Um, now because we're solving for you know the length and width of a rectangle so at this point we we want to get an approximate answer because saying that it's negative 23 plus the square root of 1033 divided by 2 is not really a helpful answer. Um, so to get an approximate answer we'll just use a calculator so over here I have negative 23 plus square root of 1033 divided by 2. So one answer could be 4.5. The other answer could be minus the square root of 1033 divided by 2. Um, obviously, a negative amount added to both sides wouldn't make sense, so our answer is about 4.57 centimeters, which we can round up to 4.6. So, yeah, we got x was approximately uh, 4.6 centimeters for negative... 27.5, but this answer doesn't make sense. So this is the amount we're going to add to both sides. So we started with 9 and 14, so that means the new length would be 9 plus 4.6, which is 13.6 centimeters. And then 14 plus 4.6 is 18.6 centimeters. So these are the new dimensions of painting. <laughs>